Hey everyone, so I just received the newest version of the Treasury of Scripture Knowledge. This is brand new. I have not seen it yet. Don't know what it looks like inside, so we're going to do an unboxing, and then I'm going to do a little bit of walkthrough, see what it looks like inside, see what, what it has. I don't have the older version right here, so I'm not able to compare, but we'll work on some comparisons later this is not a review just an unboxing that is a large book let me rearrange my camera here so yeah that is large close this I am a fan of the treasury of scripture knowledge and this is a new version of it. Got a little bit of information on this recently. Last year. So I knew it was coming. And I was hoping to be able to review it. Which I will do a full review. But just to give an idea of what it is. When you turn to a chapter of the Bible. Turn to a book of the Bible. Certain chapter and it gives you verses. So it's divided just like scriptures. And then it gives you information about a verse and then that would be the the portion of the scripture that would have uh, like a two for example uh, this is verse two verse three verse four verse five so if you had like an a b c d for all the different references one uh, reference would be under that one and then it would give you all the references that go under it and then the next one then all the references and then the next one and then all the references so basically it's a gigantic reference book so instead of having references in your bible you can have references here but it's more than that though it's more than just references for example this one where it says the soul it gives you some information about it yeah that is that is huge there are a lot of references in this. Treasury of Scripture Knowledge has always been one of my favorite tools. It just it contains a lot of references. That's that's the main reason. There's just so much here, and then also it, it includes the uh, chapter summaries. So a little bit of a breakdown about what all is in every chapter. Of course, I just you know turned it to some random pages. So there's a topic number index, figure of speech index. So we'll get into all this and see what it is. There's a name index. So we'll dig into some of this prayer index, subject index. So some really good indexes in the back of bibliography. So in an upcoming review, I'm going to spend some time with this, develop some some studies with it, use it for a little bit, and then I'll come back and and do a review. But that is the new version of the Treasury of Scripture Knowledge. See how many references it has for Genesis one. It's one of my favorite references, one of my favorite verses to look at. Information in the front on how to use it. What the symbols mean so here we have Genesis 1 beginning so how many have we got here one two three four five six seven eight nine already lost count there are a lot of references in there it looks like it gives you the Strong's number so God Hebrew Elohim Strong's number 430 so there's quite a bit of information there. Some symbols in there too. So we'll, we'll look through all these, see what they all are. So stay tuned for the review. But that is a quick look at the Treasury of Scripture Knowledge, the newest version of it. From Thomas Nelson. And I appreciate them sending me this for review. I'll, uh, I'll spend some time with it and come back for the review. Stay tuned.